If you're already standing and you want to come down in a squat style for a little more work, you can take those arms out the front, pull the abdominals in, and just come down and take your seat. So from here, we're seated on our bottom. We're going to go ahead and start just coming down, halfway, rise right back up. So just warming up those abdominals, coming down about halfway, and then just going right back up. Just going to lower that just a tiny bit. Lowering down and then lifting right back up. So our next one, we're going to hold the back of the hamstrings, soften up in those elbows, scoop in the head belly, round in the spine, and then rise up, open up in the chest, separate between the collarbones, and then slowly come right back down. So try and do this really slow so you start to get a shake. Maybe every time you come down, you can start to come down a little bit lower. So pulling those abdominals in, and then slowly rise right back up. So the next one, we're gonna go ahead and stay back. You're gonna sweep one arm, bring it right back, sweep the other arm, bring it back. Both arms are sweeping, and then bring it back. Rise all the way back up to the top, scoop in the abs, slowly come all the way back down. So this time, bring one arm up, slowly bring that hand to tap the floor. So we got three like this while the other hand gets to hold on. Pull those abs in. I hope your abs are already shaking like mine. Last one, hold on. Pull those abdominals in. We're lowering and lifting. So inhale through the nose. And notice the difference when you go a little bit slower. Our goal here, our Pilates focus, moving from our center, so our abs are in charge of this arm. Last one, when we lower down, we get to hold on again. Rise all the way up to the top. So scooping the out, abdominals, arms are going out, pull the abs in, you're high on the sits bones. We're actually lifting our abdominals here, pressing shoulders down away from the ears. You're seated high on your sits bones. Abs are engaged, you got these for four, three, two, and now hands come back out in front, slowly hinge back. Bring your hands behind the head. Elbows are gonna be pulled in for this one. We're going up an inch, down an inch. So really small. Really tiny, hands behind the head is gonna be harder, but we're keeping the elbows pulled in in parallel positions instead of going wide for four more. Three, two, last one, hands go long and straight. Tap one hand to the mat, tap the other hand down to the mat. So inhale through the nose, exhale from the mat. Really try and focus on using those abdominals on the exhale. You're gonna cinch the waist so that you can get a little bit deeper into the core there. Use those abs, put them to work. And then try and use your exhale for the hardest part of the exercise for yourself. Last one here. And we're gonna roll back just a tiny bit. Just a tiny bit. And then rise right up. It's really small. We're about halfway back now. Last two, hope you're shaking. Last one, rise up to the top. So quick release, hands come down first. This time we're gonna hinge back here, pull the abdominals in, you're lifting up one leg and then the other. So if you feel like you're getting into your hip flexors, you're gonna try and engage those abdominals a little bit more or come up a little bit higher. So breathing through them. Inhale through those, exhale them out. Try and keep the pelvis quiet. That's where we start attacking those abs. Breathing through them. And now keep the heels down. You're gonna to roll to your right, circle around, come up on the left. When you come up on the left, you're gonna go back down on the left, and then circling around. Rise back up. So a little mini round the world. We do this with the springboard, laying on our mat. So very similar, but you just have to count on a little bit more you rather than having that help from the springs. So breathing through them. We're just coming into that final one here. And then you're gonna rise up to the top, come all the way down, bone by bone. You finally get to come down to the mat. Reach, lengthen, arms long and straight. First big, long body stretch, so it should feel really good to lengthen out the legs here. Point the toes, get length in the legs. If you've shifted on your mat, you're gonna want the full length of your mat now. So arms come straight back behind you without touching the ground. Take a nice inhale and the exhale. Look at your toes, lift up one leg. Slowly peel all of that way back up. Deep inhale. On the exhale, look at the toes. And then slowly come right back down. 
So breathing through these, look at those toes, working hard to keep the hips on the same plane as best we can. Breathing through them. We got one more on each. Look at the toes. Come right back down. Last one, trying to come up high enough off those shoulder blades and come all the way back down. So our next one, we're gonna change our position of our feet. So diamond out the legs here, let the feet go further rather than close to the inner thighs. Elbows wide, chest is open. Take a reach to that opposite knee and then slowly return right back down. Same thing on the other side, pull the abdominals in. So we're now letting our hips open up a little bit here, get a little bit of a stretch, but we're still abdominal focused. Breathing through that, you're gonna try and go slow. Reach towards that opposite knee, and then you're surrendering and coming right back down. Using that breath, wherever you are, we'll finalize with one more on each, or just level yourself out. And then we're coming into center, elbows wide, chest is open, tiny presses here. So a little space between chin and chest, Gaze it out in front instead of at the ceiling, otherwise we're going to find that tension in our neck. We don't want that for five, four, three, two, and let it go. Surrender. Hold this position. We're going to give our neck a, a break. Open up the shoulders, so try and press them down with palms up. Lift up one foot, lift up the other one. This is going to be really tough if you're pretty tight in the hips like myself. You're just trying to lift up a little bit, so getting those low abs here, breathe through them, inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth, lifting up one leg and then the other, you got one more on each, breathe and go ahead and bring those legs back together, so your heels are coming close to your seat, hands by your side, you're going to reach, reach and lengthen, four pumps here, and then slowly take it right back down, lift right back up, you got five pumps, pull those abs in, and then lower right back down. Reach and lengthen. Long inhales, long exhales. Two more to go here, and slowly lower right back down. Lift your feet, tap the floor, and lift them up just an inch. So attacking those low abs again here. Lower down an inch, up an inch. Pull those abs in. Toes tap the ground, and then they only get to come up about an inch. Breathe for four, three, two, last one, and go ahead and lengthen the legs out long. So we're going to go ahead, bring the leg in, flex and lower down. You're going to keep head, neck, and shoulders up for this one if you can. So point, drag. It's almost like a passe, and then flex and lower down. The other foot, try and keep it really active with your heel pressing to the ground. Inhale, drive the leg up. Exhale, flex and lower down. Find that shape in your abdominals. Elbows wide, chest is open. A light fingertip touch to the back of the head, so no pulling, no tugging. You got these. Hard flex, we lower right back down. Give me two more on this side. Hang tough. You got it. And then slowly lower right back down. Head, neck, and shoulders comes down for a mini break in between. A nice sip of air, and on the exhale, we rise back up. Same thing, other side. Point the toe, get light and light, flex and lower down. So it should be a lengthening and stretching exercise. So on the way up, we work for flexibility. On the way down, we're stretching back side of the body. Your gaze is going right at the toes. And of course, you're feeling those abs a lot by keeping the head, neck, and shoulders lifted. Your modified position will keep the head, neck, and shoulders down. So breathing through them. Really hard to stabilize in the pelvis here while we're lifted in the chest. So you're really going to try and go slow. Pull those abs in. You got this control going on, precision, breathing, all those great principles being used here. So we start, still are moving really mindful, Pilates style here. Reach and lengthen, stretch out the legs. Oh yeah, my abs are shaking here. Breathe through them. Give me two more on this side. We're almost there. Drag the toe all the way up. Hard flex and lower all the way down. Final one here. Hard flex and lower all the way down. Let it go. Surrender. So nice big stretch. Arms straight over the head. 
And then we're going to walk the feet in. We'll come into a little bit of bridge work. So we can give the neck a little bit of a break because we are coming into our hundred soon. So hands down by your side. Tilt in the pelvis. We're going to peel all the way up to the top. Once you get up to the top, it's three presses out. Return the knees. Come all the way back down, bone by bone. Safe from last thing to touch down. Immediately, you're tilting in the pelvis. You're going to peel right back up and add on with those three presses out. Control, and then coming all the way back down. Breathe. Slowly tilt in the pelvis. So if your weakness is not being able to get your hips up to knee, hip, shoulder height, that's your goal here. So just work for your height here today. In studio, it's a little bit harder if you're doing it on a reformer or with a moving carriage. So it's a great time to practice this exercise. Home on the mat, stationary. You may notice you'll get a little bit better height. And then coming all the way back down. Something we don't want to do if you do a lot of yoga is arch in the back. So we don't want our hips to go too high. It should look like we're in a plank almost. We have that knee, hip, shoulder alignment. And then we're coming all the way back down, bone by bone. So we are going to add on to the next one. Next time you're up at the top, we'll stay here. We'll do a little bit of marching. So this is going to challenge that pelvis. You're going to pull those abs in like crazy to try and not shift to one side or the other. Breathing through them. Inhale, exhale. Long inhale, long exhale. Then next one, stay lifted. Bring that leg up. You're down an inch, up an inch. Down one, up one. For five more. Four, three, two. Leg comes down, other leg rises up. Go ahead, use those obliques, use those abs, use your backside. So much working here, you got these. Your last set for three, two, final one. Foot comes down, lower all the way back down. So lowering down, we're gonna sway those knees from side to side, maybe cactus the arms here. So just floating from side to side. Breathe through them, inhale, exhale. We're going to come back into center. We're ready to take our hundred here. So when you're ready, lift up head, neck, and shoulders. Legs come to tabletop. We're pumping really hard here. So inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. If you can add on, legs are long and straight. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. So breathing through them. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. If you want to really go for it, you're going to drop your legs down pretty low today. Completely optional. If you feel like you're getting in your low back doing that, then you're going to keep them up high like me. So inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. So long inhales, long exhales. Completely optional where you're at. Your feet can also be down here. You could be in your modified position. You could let the head, neck, and shoulders go down too. So you're where you need to be. Breathing through them, but if you can, you're at your full expression here. So inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. So more classical, more traditional is those low legs. But of course, we don't want to arch in the low back. So don't go there if that's where you're feeling it. You don't want to feel the low back. You got these. I hope you're getting hot like I am. Fire up here. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Press those fingertips together. Push the shoulders down away from the ears. Let's finish out with two last big rounds here. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Give me your best last set right here, right now. This is where it ends. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Go ahead. Surrender. Ooh, and this room just got really hot. <laughs> Hope yours did too. So just kind of shaking that out. We're going to go ahead and grab onto the back of our calf here. Scissor switch. You got your series five. You definitely want to skip out on these on our Mega Ab Monday. Inhale, exhale. Just checking that camera. Awesome. Glad you're joining in, Karen. Let's see who else. Can't see, really. So breathing through them. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Scissor switching. You didn't stop because I stopped. Inhale, exhale. You got these. Are you progressing? Take the hands behind the head. Inhale, exhale. 
You can also modify, stay more like a tabletop. Be where you need to be. Let's do one more of each. And let's hold tabletop and give the head, neck, and shoulders a break. That's what we're going to do in between every set of our series five tonight. So we'll let our head have that necessary break since our set's going to be a little bit longer. But we're going to stay holding our tabletop so we're still engaging in those abs. Of course, if you need it, feet go down. All right, lifting up head, neck, and shoulders. You got your bent knee position. So the leg that's coming in, that hand goes to the ankle. Inside hand goes to the inside the leg. Why do we do this? To keep our ankle, knee, hip alignment. So not letting our legs kind of fan out to the side. All about that alignment in Pilates. Gaze between the legs, inhale, exhale. It's a push, it's a pull, maybe it's a flex to the feet, maybe it's a point through toes. Try and keep your head up high enough so you don't feel this in the neck. Of course, if you do, head would go down, legs would go higher up. So your choice. Breathe through them. Inhale, exhale. Crazy abs here today. We got one more on each. Go ahead and let it go. Tabletop. Head goes down. I almost forgot my own rules. So tabletop, head goes down. Legs come straight up in the air. So we're going to go ahead and lower and lift. So flex to lower. This is a good one. Not on the reformer. That you can go ahead and sit on the hands if you feel like you need that. So pull those abs and it's still equally challenging. Otherwise, your hands go down by your side. So point to lift, flex and lower. Are you progressing? Hands come behind the head. Maybe the legs are traveling as low. Maybe you have a small range of motion. I know my eyes are shaking like crazy here. You got these, stay with me. When in doubt, make them smaller. Breathe through them, inhale to nose, exhale to mouth, you got it. Long inhales, long exhales. Inhale, exhale. And go ahead and bring it in. So hands come to the ankles. We're out of order, as you notice. Bring it in, bring it out. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, curl it in. If you prefer, you can sweep those arms all the way out around. Any shoulder injuries, it's going to feel a lot better to just stick right here. Any extra support you need, support the back of the head. So breathing through them. Inhale from the nose, exhale the mouth. My abs are on fire. Breathe through them for three, two, last one. Let it go, tabletop. We got one last one to go, guys. Stay with me. Do not shut that camera off. You got this. You're here for the full 50 minutes. Stay strong. All right. We're going to come into our crisscross. Elbows wide, chest is open. You got your push. You got your pull. Try and think about when we had that supported single leg stretch. So try and keep your ankle, knee, hip alignment. Try to not let the lower body really shift. Pelvis stabilize. We do that by pulling those abs in. Breathe rhythm. You got your push, you got your pull. Inhale, exhale. Stay with this. You got it. One more on each. Do anything. Soles of the feet come down, hips rise up, lift up, hold, hands behind the back. So you got a nice big lengthening out stretch here. You got prayer hands behind the back if that's okay with you in your upper body. And now we're up an inch, down an inch. Up one, down one, pull the abs in. Up an inch, down an inch. And now you just hit quicksand. It's heavy, it's hard, it's slow. Breathe. Inhale, exhale. You know this feels better than the last move, so you will stay here for five minutes if you need to, right? Breathe through them, going down an inch, up an inch. Inhale, exhale. Down one, up one. Press the heels to the ground, lift the toes. Treat this like our footwork. So really press those heels firmly into your mat. Toes are lifted. Keep the movement. You're going down one, up one. Inhale, exhale. Stay with me. Walk it back, toes are on, heels are lifted. Same thing, down one, up one, we need to take a break. We're here, heels and the hands are together. This is better than 100, right? Breathe through them, down an inch, up an inch. Inhale, exhale, down one, up one. This is where we finish, guys. For five, four, three, two, and let it go, surrender. Come down, 
legs go long and straight, and then we can take it to a figure four if you like. So it's going to go right into the next move, but I'm going to be a little bit of a strut here. So hard flex in the feet, little figure four. You can grab from behind that hamstring or the shin, or maybe you like the sole of the foot down and you just like to press that leg away from you. So any variation that works for you, just enjoy this big stretch. Hope we're all doing well. Foot comes down, same thing on the other side. Hug it in. So breathe through them. Maybe your head, neck, and shoulders is up. Maybe it's down, doing what feels okay to you. So breathing through them. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. And you guys are probably saying, how long are we staying on our back here? I don't know, a little while longer. And then we'll go ahead and we'll bring our legs out long and straight here. So reach and lengthen. Arms are long and straight. We're going to go ahead and lift the one leg. Go right back down. Lift the other leg. Both hands are reaching towards the toe. Breathe. And now do this even slower. So get all the benefits of a nice big stretch. And we're getting those abs. We're lifting our shoulder blades up and off. If you can start adding on our next one, we're actually not going to bring our toes to our hands. We're going to tap the mat. So tapping or hovering that mat, I should say. So you look like you're doing the 100 arms. Point your toes, get like the legs, and maybe flex and lower. It's just your extra add-on. If that's too much going on, you're just going to go up and down the way that feels okay in your body here today. So breathe into them. Fire up in those abs. You got this. Last one. And go ahead and lower all the way down. So keep the head down. We're going to come into our frog legs. So heels are together, toes are apart. Press those legs out. Bring them in, but really don't bring them in. Keep them far. Let's pretend like we got one of those big balls, big beach ball, big yoga ball on our belly here. There is no room for that, those knees to come in. So that's where the work is going to be at. And now you're only going to put a fist distance between your toes so that your knees don't bend out to the side. So that's why we only do about a fist distance. So keep the knees accountable. We don't want them to go out. Don't want to feel this in our knees. And now can you press them out further? Further. Oh yeah, tap down, lift right back up. Now if that felt like too big of a move, you're going to go down an inch, up an inch, keeping it small. Breathe through them. Down one, up one. You got this. Down an inch, up an inch. Breathe. Four, three, two. And now bring it down. Keep that same position. Lift up head, neck, and shoulders. You're going to reach towards one side and the other. You got a little oblique slides here. Reach towards that knee and reach towards the other one while keeping your heels connected. Look at your toes. Abdominals engaged. You got these. Oh, yeah. Breathe through them. Inhale, exhale, isolating. And now stick to the one side. Three, two, one. Other side. Three, two, one. Go back to the other side. Three, two, one. One more time. Three, two, one. I lied. One more on each. Three, two, one. Last one. Three, two, one. One, awesome job guys. Keep your feet right where they're at, elbows really wide, curl up, lower right back down, curl up, slow control so those abs can shake here, no old school sit-ups, we're doing Pilates work, inhale, exhale, legs are far away from you but heels are still connected, if this really is not comfortable for you, you're going to switch to your parallel feet, but you should definitely feel these a little bit more, breathe, inhale the nose, exhale the mouth. The next one, both hands are long and straight. Press them down an inch, up an inch. Look at those toes, shoulder blades are up and off. Don't want to feel this in our neck at all. And now stay right there, one hand on top, the other one on bottom. One hand on top, other one on the bottom. Push the shoulders down away from the ears, fire up those abs. Can you go slower? Oh yeah, I got that burn going on, I hope you do too. Look right over those fingertips. You got these, stay with me. We're almost there. We're halfway through class, guys, and we haven't even moved yet. So I am going to move you yet soon. Breathe through them, and go ahead and lower all the way back down. Hug one knee into the chest. 
but we're going to make sure we're sticking with our abdominals. So that knee is coming to the outside of the ribcage, the other leg is lowering and lifting. So nothing like a working break, right? Never want to stop, right? We keep moving the whole time. Pull those abs in, of course, if you need it, sole the foot to go down, leg to go down. Be where you need to be. Last three, last two, final one, let it go. Let that leg go, the other leg comes to the outside of the rib cage, the other leg is your lifting leg. Lift up head, neck, and shoulders if you want to progress here. If not, that's okay. Just make sure you're not feeling this in the low back. Not arching. Breathe. Deep inhales, deep exhales. Last three. Last two. Final one. Let it go. Bring it all the way back in. So one more bridge here. We're going to take it to our wide second. Heels on the mat. Toes slightly turned out. Lift up in the hips. And now you're going to lower right back down. Lift up in the hips. And then lower right back down. So a little working the outside of the glutes here a little bit too. So breathe through them. When you come up to the top, maybe you can bring your seat closer together. So squeeze your seat a little bit and then lowering right back down. So breathing through them. Inhale through nose, exhale through mouth. Hopefully this is making your legs shake a little bit. We want to get some lengthening happening though in our thighs on the way up. Stretching out those hip flexors while we're still working our glutes here. And of course, moving from our powerhouse, our goal, Breathe through them. Inhale the nose, exhale the mouth. And that last three, we're going to keep our toes lifted, heels planted into the ground. Last two. Use the breath. Final one, and then we're going to rotate to our sidelines because we have been on our back so, so long. All right, we're going to go ahead and let it go. So surrender, we're coming into our side body here. So our first one, what else would it be? But coming into our side body crunch. So our forearms down, bottom knees down, top arm reach over the head, you got it. Bring it in, bring it out. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, crunch, elbow towards that knee. You could also do this completely in the sideline with your hip down and just bring that leg in a bent stretch instead. Breathe through these, last five, last four, last three, Last two, final one, go ahead and come all the way down. So we're going to go ahead, our next one, we're going to let our head rest, hand in front, hips stack, bodies in the long straight line, lift the legs only, lower and lift from here, lower and lift. So really work those love handles, side body crunches here, so you're lifting and lowering, legs are long and straight though, should definitely feel these. Inhale, exhale, breathe through them. You got this, we got five more here. Four, three, two, last one, legs come down. We're gonna let that top knee rest in front and tiny little crunch here. So tiny little crunch, doesn't have to be big at all. If this doesn't feel okay to you, you could also just lift up with the legs stacked. So breathe through these. So going where it feels right for you, breathe through them. But that knee out in front is going to help to keep your pelvis quiet and let you engage those abs a little bit deeper. Last two. Last one. Go ahead and let it go. So lowering all the way down, we're going to go ahead and bring our legs to our tabletop. So tabletop here, let's actually lift up to our forearms so we get more abs here. We're going to lower and lift. So you're going to use that support with the front hand. You're lowering and lifting here. So legs to stay like this, or you can keep your heel to your seat more modified. So your choice. And then you're lowering and lifting. These should be pretty intense. Breathe through them. Inhale through those, exhale through mouth. You got these for five, four, three, two, last one. We're gonna go ahead and lower down. Completely on our, we're still twisted and rotated, but we'll let both shoulders come down. We're gonna crunch just from here. So remember those old school side body crunches that we used to do at the gym all the time? Bring it back here today. So just crunching out, isolating to that one oblique, breathe through them, lifting up your head high enough. Inhale, exhale, you got these for five more. Maybe go slower, four, three, two, last one, we press up to the top. So now it's time to come center of your mat and it's a good time to grab your, your one of your TheraBands or your towel 
completely optional. You don't need it at all. Arms are out in front. So heels are planted in the ground, toes are lifted. We're gonna go ahead and lower down. Go off to one side, pull apart that TheraBand or pull on the towel. So you're hinged back here a little bit, so you fire up those abs, and now the bottom hand is the pulling hand. So breathe through these. Inhale, exhale for three, two, last one, come to center. Other hand goes down, so you look like spearfish, but really just that bottom hand is the one that's pressing down. Breathing through these. Inhale to the nose, exhale to the mouth. Equal sits bones. You got it. Last three, two, one. Come into center, rise up to the top. Sit super tall. Lower the arms, lift the arms. Pull apart your TheraBand, any amount. So you feel your back a little bit more, working a little bit harder. Push the shoulder blades down. Don't let the shoulders rise up here. And then hands come out in front. We're gonna hinge back again here. Pull apart that TheraBand, pull it apart. So if you're not using a TheraBand, you're just pulling apart your hands, you're getting just a little less resistance than the TheraBand needs. So breathing through them, inhale through nose, exhale through mouth. Inhale, exhale. You got these for three, two, last one. TheraBand goes around the foot. Elbows wide, chest is open, press in, press out. That arm gets to help bring that leg in. If you don't have this, you can also use your hand or you can hold from the calf, you can hold behind the hamstring. The TheraBand is gonna give a little more weight to it. Breathe through these for three, two, final one, let it go, surrender. Same thing on the other side. So wrap that TheraBand around or choose the use that you're doing and then you're coming in going out. Pull that TheraBand, the slower you go, the more you're gonna let that leg be the weight it should be. So let your leg be a weight so your abdominals are getting more work, and then your arm is getting a little bit of work by pulling this TheraBand, letting your leg feel like dead weight. Oh yeah, pull those abs in if you need to, you're going back a little further. Maybe your legs are even shaking like mine. Pull those abs in, last three. Last two, final one, surrender, TheraBand off, spine stretch forward, let it go. We're gonna butterfly our feet, let them come together here, so a little bit of a stretch, use your elbows to press down on those knees. So pressing down, feet, soles of the feet are together, opening up in the hips. And now from here, we are taking it right back to our other side, so we start off with our side body crunch. So we're on that bottom knee, we lift up, arm goes straight overhead. And then if you add on, inhale reach, exhale crunch. So make your goal be every time you reach, you wanna make it feel like someone is grabbing your toes and your fingers and just lengthening you out here. So getting a really long spine, Maybe you can look an inch taller after this workout today. So breathe through them. Inhale, lengthen. Goal team touching both sides of your room here. You got these. Stay with me. We're almost there for your last four. Last three. Final two. Last one. Let it go. Surrender. So coming down, we'll let the head have the break. Head comes down, and now legs are together, we're gonna lift them up. So lifting them up, head can stay down here. Let the top hand support you so the top hip doesn't move her or roll forward or back. So breathing through these, inhale through nose, exhale through mouth. So lift and lower, inhale, exhale, you got it. Breathing through them, inhale, exhale. Slow, controlled, breathe through them. After this one, our lower body gets to stay still, so fire it up here. Last two, last one. Legs come down. If you took that position where that front knee was your anchor, then you're gonna go ahead and come to that side crunch here again. Any amount. If that's too much, you can come into this one, but this one's definitely not easy either. It's definitely a balanced challenge, keeping the legs long and straight. The anchor point should be a little bit easier. But you can always make the range of motion a little bit smaller, a little slower. 
So always when we slow things down, a little bit more mindful, you'll have that better form and maybe really feel that connection a little bit deeper. For your last three, last two, final one, and we'll bring it in. So our next one, we're up on our forearms. If you can, you can do this one with your head down though too. And you're gonna go ahead and lift and lower from here. So up on your forearm, or maybe you just have the ribs lifted, that's a great option too. So whatever you did on the other side, or head can be completely down. So you're really choosing where to be here. Pull those abs in. Hardest when those ribs are at least off the floor though. Stay with me, you got this. Four more. Three, two, last one. We get to surrender. Let our back come down. So both shoulders are down for your starting point. Knees are stacked here. We're coming into that old school crunch. So just try and stack your toes and heels and knees and then crunch from there. Knee might draw back a little bit if you're trying to keep both shoulders down. And then coming into the abdominal curl. You got these. Stay with me. We're almost done with sideline for four, three, two, last one. And we'll go ahead and surrender. So we're going to float right to our back here into center. We're going to go ahead and rock up to the top. Hold. Straighten. And hold. Straighten. Pull those abs in. So little mini teasers here. Pull those abs. Use your biceps. Let them hold you up as well. Breathing through them. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. The next one, one leg goes bring it down. The other leg goes up. Bring it back down. You got these. So lifting up the one leg, lifting up the other. Breathe through them. Inhale, exhale. Long inhales, long exhales. I'm just going to keep turning myself around here to face that camera. And now we're going to hold it up here. Hold up at the top. Pull those abs in. Hold. Take the arms off and hold. Feet the heels. You got this. Five, four, three, two, tabletop, touch down, touch down. Try not to take that break. Try and use your abs. Your abs are moving your arms. Pull the belly button towards the spine. You got these. Rise up a little higher. Bring your heels down a little bit lower. A little more of a balance challenge. Keep those toes together. Heels together. You got this. Hold up the top. I love this move on the reformer. One hand to the other arm, the other hand to the other arm. So one at a time, pull those abs in. You got this. Feet are lifted, shoulders down away from the ears. Inhale, exhale, everything's shaking here. Oh yeah, breathe. We got one more on each. And you get to let those feet come down and on your forearms. So stay propped up, so try not to slump. We're lifted, so that's going to be bringing your shoulder blades closer together and pushing your shoulders down. Lift up from here. Press out one leg, push out the other. You got to push, you got to pull. Inhale, exhale. Push and pull. Hold your tabletop. Extend the one leg. Down an inch, up an inch. Down one, up one, five, four, three, two. Tabletop. Extension the other leg. You got it. One leg teaser, one leg tabletop, lifted upper body. Last three, last two, final one. Bring those heels together, toes apart. Come down as slow as you can for your dismount. Slow. Take 20 seconds to get down. Kidding. And then we'll go ahead and sway the knees from one side to the other. So a little shake it out, stay lifted. So our upper body still working, still active. We got one more move in this position. We're nothing like the corkscrew, especially if you think it's pretty easy in tabletop, but then really lose you a little bit there. Try and take those legs out a little bit further. Inhale, one circle. When you think you're just up at the top, it's like a teardrop. Then you change that direction. So it's the same like our classical version of being on our back and our legs long and straight. Breathing through them. Working hard to stabilize in that pelvis. So you got your tight belt buckle on. You're stitching the waist. It's 1980. Tight jeans are not stretchy. So pull the belly button away from the pants. That's what it should feel like. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. You got these. Stay with me. 
Last one back, and then we get to rock up to the top. So rock it up to the top, legs long and straight. You have a nice fine stretch. So we are gonna finish out coming onto our bellies. So first one, we'll, do, we'll shake this out in a cat cat. So first we're gonna go ahead and look for our belly button, head up, chin up, chest up. So looking for our belly button, head up, chin up, chest up. Little cat cow here. Oh yeah, this feels so like a dream compared to everything else today. And we'll go ahead and we'll find our neutral. So we're in neutral, we're not arching, we're not tucking. Take the right leg back, pull those abs in. Take the left leg back, hold your plank. If you don't plank, you're planking to the wall. Pull those abs in, press back to the heels. We got our body saw going on for control from reformer. Press back to those heels. So breathe in through them. Inhale, exhale. Really small, barely moving. Abs are in, heavy tailbone. Oh yeah. One inch forward, one inch back. Last four, last three, last two, up stretch. So just taking those hips up, so basically down dog. So up stretch it is, send those shoulders in that position down your back. Breathe through them. We're gonna shake this up. We got a high plank, we got an up stretch. You're going back and forth. Breathe through them. But you are moving through your center, so really use those abs to move here. Mindful move. All abs. The next one, you're gonna hold the elbow into the knee. You got it. Five, four, three, two, take it back. Other side, hold. Five, four, three, two, let it go, rise up. Hold your up stretch. Lift the right leg, higher best leg. Stretch your back body. This is your break, this is your recovery. You don't like your recovery, you always can take it to child's pose. You got it. My job is keeping you here for 50 minutes. If you need the bridge, you take it. Bring that foot down, but I'm gonna try and push you and make you stay a little bit longer. Don't we all work out a little bit longer when somebody's there with us? Press up. Breathe through them for five, four, three, two, and let it go. Foot comes down, knees come down. You get your first child's pose of the day, so let it go. Just stretch it out here. So we're gonna bring our hands relatively close to our knees. Curl in the toes, just lift your knees and bring them right back down. So they're gonna be closer than normal, so you're not really in a tabletop, you're a little bit closer in. And now put your weight in the pads of the fingertips so you don't hurt your wrists, and lift up. Breathe, inhale, exhale, scooping those abs. Maybe go slower, maybe keep the legs, the knees closer to the ground. So breathe through these. If this follows your wrists, you could do it on fists, or just take this completely out of the equation. Maybe you're just doing a forearm plank. Pull those abs in, you got these. Breathing through these. For three, use those abs to lift. Let your legs be dead and heavy. Last one, go ahead and bring it in. So we're gonna come give our wrists a little break. Maybe fold the wrists one way. Maybe take them the other way. Nice big stretch, forearm stretch. We got one more thing on our hands. So we're gonna come into our bird dog crunches because that's a great way to work those abs and get our extension working at the same time. We're gonna take it today to opposite. So opposite elbow, opposite knee. Breathe, inhale, exhale. Oh yeah. Reach and lengthen. Give me five more. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Let it go. So same thing on the other side. When you're ready, take the leg out. Hold. You got your crunch. Still adding on. You're coming into that cross body where that elbow is coming towards the opposite knee. Don't like those? Stick with the same side of the body. But we are still treating this like a crunch. Breathing through these. Inhale through the nose, exhale through out. We only got six more minutes, guys, so stay tough. Breathe. Last four. Last three. Last two. Final one. Let it go. Surrender. I'm going to give you a flipped palm child's pose. So flip your palms like this, and then reach and lengthen. Sit back. So breathe. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. If you have
have a towel or a TheraBand, we're going with it for our extension work. So we haven't used it so much today, so I'm going to put it to use. So our first one, we're going to go ahead and take our arms out, be in line with our shoulders. Push the pelvis into the mat, belly button is up and in, pull apart your TheraBand, so all, now you're pretty active in your backside as well. As you're engaged, you're going to keep your feet down, lift the arms, and lower while holding tension on your towel or TheraBand. Last two, last one, hands come down, pull apart the TheraBand, lift up in the chest just a little bit. So lifting up in the chest, you're going to curl one leg in, curl the other leg. So not too high, you don't want to feel this in the low back. Keep some tension on your TheraBand, of course if this doesn't feel good, your forehead is down. Breathe through them, inhale, exhale, and now we're going to point. Flex, flex, bring it down. Point, flex, flex, bring it down. One more on each side. Flex, flex, bring it down. Point, flex, flex, bring it down. Hands come behind the head here. I know, this looks a little rough. Feet stay down. Just put a, we're going to keep it in a cactus. We're not extending the arms. And now lower and lift here. Breathe through them. Keep the TheraBand tight or your towel. You got this, legs stay down. So we're getting a little bit of a length in our abdominals when we're doing this extension after all that ab work. For three, two, last one, let go, surrender. Quick break. Our final one, our hands are coming behind our back and our TheraBand or towel is in hand. This time we lift everything up, so push that bubble to the back, and only pull apart your towel or TheraBand. If you're not using a TheraBand, you still can do this same move without it. You got this. Thighs are slightly lifted off your mat for four, three, two, and let it go. Surrender, child's pose, take a break. So child's pose, stretch it out. Breathe. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. From here, we're going to go ahead and just take it to a little bit of our lunge. So one leg comes forward, the other one goes back. You're going to lift the toes, so curling the toes, lift the heels, I should say. And now that hand on the inside of the foot is going to stay there. Outside arm, lift it up. Pull the abs in. So you're challenging your balance, so abs have got to be in here for three. Two, last one, hand comes down, reach and lengthen, fold over that leg. So fold over, maybe a little applied pressure to the pad of the foot, keep folding forward here. Pull those abs in, slide that leg forward, take it to the other side. So lean all the way in, chest on top of thigh. And then if you can add on, outside arm lifts up. Still out and on, that toe's on the ground, heel is lifted, knee is lifted, pull the abdominals in, hold this big stretch, and then slowly bring it down, knee comes down, leg goes down, straighten out, hold that big stretch, so breathing through them. Walk that foot back. We're going to take it to some inchworms here. So you're going to walk it back, reach for the ankle, walk it back out. So reach, this should be more of a stretch. You're walking it out, you're still getting that core, you're still getting upper body. Reach, lengthen, pull those abs in, hips rise. So really when you get up to the top, take that forward fold. Get your stretch in your hamstrings. We only have a couple minutes to go, so make sure this is a lengthening exercise. Stretch, fold, and then walk it right back out. You got this. So fold, and then stretch and walk it right back out. We'll hold here, pull those abs in, soften in the knees. Extension, soften in the knees. Use your abdominals, extension. Last three, last two, final one. Go ahead, soften in the knees. Walk it back, forward fold. Let your hands go, so give them a little bit of a break. Lift your two legs. We are going to walk out one last time, but this time is our final set here, but we're going to take some push-ups. So walking it out, you got some push-ups here. So pull those abs in, elbows pulled in by your side. Keep your push-ups isometric at the top. Heavy tailbone, 
You got this for five, four, use your abs to move, three, two, last one, soften to the knees, walk it back, forward fold. You're gonna rise this time all the way up to the top. So bone by bone, coming up to the top, and we're just gonna take it to a little bit of a stretch. So you're gonna lift that leg up, maybe you're holding right here. Pull those abs in. If you're still, you can hold on to the wall too if you need to. If you're still adding on, your hands come underneath your foot and you're still staying here. So we're challenging our balance and we're getting a lengthening stretch. Still adding on, you're going to press the leg out long and straight. Folding over the leg any amount while your stationary leg is straight but not locked up. Soften in that knee. Bring the leg down. Trying to use all fours to try to not lean or migrate. Same thing on the other side, guys. This is how we're finishing out. Lift the other leg. Maybe you're hanging right here, and that's perfectly fine. Still got a balance challenge. Still adding on. Wrap underneath the feet. The stationary leg is straight with a soft knee, so no lockout. Still add on. You take that leg long and straight, completely optional where you're at. So really deep, big stretch. Even if your knee is soft here, wherever you need to go, also, I should have used the TheraBand. This is a great time to use the TheraBand towel. That was my goal. I just forgot. All right, so we'll bring it right back in. Pull those abs in. You're gonna dismount here using all four. Final stretch here. So you're just gonna take it from side to side. Reach, lengthen. Feet can just be parallel. You're gonna learn bicep. Rise back up. Take your stretch off to the other side. Final one. This time we cross one angle over. Take it off. Rise back up. Same thing on the other side. So cross the other angle. Slide down. And we are done, guys. You nailed it. Your 50 minute abs. Do this one three more times this week. Oh, yeah. All right. See you guys in the studio. Thanks for tuning in.